Okay, in this model, we will discover the differences between uh, using variables and collections compared to using connections or linked to agents. And for that, we will make this model that has uh, two types of agents, uh, people and cows. Uh, the people will own many cows. Each cow will have one owner. So some owners will have no cows. And uh, when you click the cow, the person who owns it will walk towards the cow. Simple model. And to start this model, we will use on, we won't use link to agents, we, so we won't use connections. Okay, so let's move this to the top, and we'll have our canvas where everything will show up here. So uh, I think to to show everything nicely, uh, the layout type will be random. Okay, so. Each person will have different amount of cows. So if you want to represent that in some way, uh, one option is to use collections. Okay, so you have a collection here. You can call it cows. It will be an array list of type cow. And here you will uh, uh, write down the cows that belong to this person. You can do the same uh, for the cow, but the cows will only have one owner. So let's uh, write a variable here called owner of type person. So let's generate owners and uh, cows for the owner. So to do that, uh, it's a good idea to go to main. In the agent actions on startup, we can put some code here. We are generating so 100 people and also 100 cows in the beginning of the model. Okay, so we have that information. So we will do for cow from the population of cows, we'll define one owner for this cow. So C dot owner will be equal to people dot random. So a random person will be chosen. But let's put this in a variable first. Person p equals people ra uh, random person p and p dot cows dot add will add the cow there. So this will allow us already to generate the, the relationships between people and cows. Okay? Now, we said that each time you click on a cow, the owner walks towards the cow. So the thing is that uh, a 3D object has no uh, on-click action. So what you have to do, you can put a shape here a rectangle on the top of the of the cow and you can make it uh, the appearance no color and no line color so it will be kind of transparent but this is difficult to it's difficult to adjust so there are a few ways to adjust this either you can zoom in if you zoom in you you will be able to to find the cow and be more exact and another way without using zoom is by using this button which is the enable disable grid so you can just uh, move with more details the digital square the rectangle okay so in advanced we have on click action and on click we will make the owner dot move to and it will move to the words the cow so this okay so let's run the model let's see what happens there's an error obviously 
because there's a semicolon missing. And where is it missing? Here. Okay, now we can run it. Okay, let's run the, the model. We have all the cows and people here. If we if I click here, the owner comes. If I click here, the owner is somewhere there. So everything good, right? We're moving the owner towards the cow. Now this is in general bad practice. Why? Because you are replicating information. You have the owner here and also you have the cows here. So if you ever change the value of the owner, and we can do that, then if you change the value of the owner, you have to go to the person and remove it from this person and then put it in another person. So let's let's do that in fact. Now when I click instead of changing the o uh, moving the owner to the cow, we will change the owner. Okay? So owner will be equal to main let's let's make a a new person random uh, random person mm -hmm. a random person uh, then we will assign this cow to this random person but first we will need to eliminate this cow uh, from the the previous owner's ownership so we have to find the owner uh, dot cows and to remove it you can use the remove function that belongs to the collect to the array list and you will er uh, erase this which is the cow that we're just clicking and then you need the new owner to have this cow this this cow So you have to be very careful, in fact, because you're changing the owner and then you have to remember to change the information in the owner. So that can be quite messy. We're not using the collection right now. We're just, for this model, we're just using this variable. But sometimes you need to access the information from both places and it can be quite tricky to, to do this and you can it can lead to mistakes because what if I forget to put this code? It's very difficult to find the bug. Uh, and we, I can move both owners just for fun. The new owner and the old owner. So let's run the model to see that everything is working correctly because maybe I'm just bullshitting here. So I click this and two guys are coming. So the previous owner and, and the current owner. So, how do you make this better? And to do this uh, in a better way, you use the link to agents. So, you can create a link to agents in the cow, for example. Let's call it person link. And this in the agent type section, you can use person as, as the agent type. So this means that the cow will be connected to a person. And since the cow can only have one person, you use a single link. And you can make it bidirectional. So if you go to the person here, you won't see anything. But if you generate a bidirectional thing here, you can call this cow link. And this variable will be generated in the person's agent. But the person can have many cows. So instead of a single link, you can use a collection of links. So you have many cows for the person and one cow, one person for the cow. So let's go back to main. 
and we will generate this same thing so uh, if you use connections this is much cooler because you really only need one line here c dot connect uh, person link and you connect to uh, let's let's use this code again you connect to the random person e and that's it it's connected instantaneously from both sides so i'm just connecting the person to the cow but at the same time the cow is being connected to the person through the cow link even if i'm not using it in the code i just created i'm not using a uh, cow link but since person link and cow link are kind of the same you can you need to do it only one time so you already save one line of code at least now let's go to the cow because we want to do something different when we click on this instead of all this code uh, we will okay we will need to move the owner so the owner will not be this one anymore it will be person link dot get connected agent so these are the 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 functions that you use and you can you can move to and you move to this so it's the same the same line of code now you want to change the owner right how do you change the owner you do the following person link dot connect uh, connect to and maybe you, you choose like a random person the same way as you did here and you choose a random person p and that's it you don't need to do all this other stuff that are complicated and then you just um, you can do the same code again so let's see if it works and so if I click a cow, you will have both owners that are moving towards the cow. So it's much simpler in general. You don't always need to use connections, but it's a good idea if you're using variables in both sides, like in both sides, uh, in the cow and the person, it's better to use connections because then you need to do uh, change things only on, on one side instead of doing things in both so this is a big way to avoid errors and that's it that's all i wanted to show you